congratulations. I know you're very excited. Um, talk a little bit about Dylan winning the state title and, and just you know what he did to get here. Unbelievable. Uh, couldn't be more happy for a, a kid like him. And uh, you know, like we talked yesterday, he, he does all the right things. He's worked hard, uh, put the time in, dedicated himself. You know, he deserves everything he got today, and it was awesome. We went out with an outstanding opponent and uh, stepped up, and uh, exciting match, and, and it came out on top, and that's great. Now, I know um, it's rough going out there first in the States and having to sit there through all the Lehigh's. He, he was pacing around like a yes. caged animal a little bit. Did, yeah. did you say anything to kind of keep, keep him calm down, or you just kind of let him do his own thing at that point? Well, he's got his own routine, like always, but uh, it certainly was you know, dragged out forever. <laughs> Uh, you know, like all the kids are anxious, but, you know, he was originally told the finals are at three. He doesn't get out of mats like 350, so uh, he kind of kept it in check, you know, and, uh, you know, just did enough to stay warm and stay focused and uh, was able to go out there and perform. Talk a little bit. <laughs> Something just happened. Yeah. Um, talk a little bit about what he did out there. I know he went out there, it was kind of back and forth. He gets his game to take down, and I can kind of see, and I was in front of the Roxbury fans, you can hear the cheers as, as he was going for the takedown. Just what he, what he was working on, what he was looking for out there. Well, he, we knew the other kid was very good on his feet, and uh, he had to have good movement, control the ties, and uh, you know, get his shots, and he was aggressive on his feet, you know, stay in great position, and uh, sometimes in big time matches like that, you know, one takedown you know, can end up being a difference, and you know, end up being that way too. So, with two great opponents like that, you know, uh, something like that, big takedown, you know, uh, ends up being the difference or, you know, big part of the win. Now, he wins a championship in football. Now he wins an Indian championship in wrestling. What do you do to keep him motivated to come back and do it again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I need to motivate him, but he's, uh, you know, he's, uh, like I said, always very dedicated and, uh, you know, he'll set his goals, you know, for next year. And, uh, you know, I never have to question his work ethic. You know, he's always doing the right thing and putting the time in. And, uh, you know, he's the kind of kid that will come back strong next year and you know, hopefully wrestle well and, you know, good thing is going to happen again. Congratulations on your victory. Talk a little bit about how it feels to be state champion. Uh, it feels great. Uh, I've never felt like this before. It's one of the best fans I've ever had. Uh, it's just kind of like all the hard work has finally paid off, and it's a great feeling. Now, you go out there, you, you're wrestling back and forth, you get the takedown, you start, you're kind of getting a little bit of a lead there. Talk a little bit about what's going through your head as, as you're in the third period, you kind of see what the time's going on, and what's in your head there. Uh, well, I knew I had a stall call, he had a stall call. Um, was I on bottom of the third count here? You were, you were on top of him at that point. You, you, would, you had him in takedown, You'd, it was like 45 seconds left. Oh, okay. Yeah, when I took that one, was like, there was like a minute. I knew there was a minute left, but uh, I they mean, restarted. Minute, I guess they yeah. stalled him and restarted. Uh, yeah, I know a minute is a long time in a wrestling match, and a lot can happen. So with, when I got the take down with a minute left, I knew I had to keep wrestling because you know, I knew he was going to keep wrestling. And the match, that was so I just tried to keep wrestling. And doing everything. Now, you win a title in football, you win a title in wrestling. Do you take the spring off, or what do you, what do, you do? Do you How do you try to come back? Uh, I'm just going to relax in the spring. <laughs> now, keep wrestling. You wind up winning, and you, you kind of look up, you see the seconds ticking off. And you're not really an emotional wrestler. You, you, you're kind of very blue-collar, lunch pail type wrestler. When the buzzer let, lifts off, you let out a yell, and you flex, and you're so happy. Just talk about that, that emotion that was going through your mind right there. I mean, I wish I could have stayed a little less reaction, but uh, I couldn't lose. It, it was just so much emotion that I had on so many people. Now, I know it's tough. I was asking your coach to come down here and be the first match and get announced first and have to sit through all the Lehigh's. Yeah. And I saw you pace it back and forth. What were you doing to kind of keep yourself focused because it's such a long introduction? Yeah, it was a really long wait, and I really had no idea when we were going to wrestle because they said 310. We didn't walk until like 340. But um, 